So the question is, do you really need a website for your business? Hi everyone, this is Max from Online Prospects and in this video I will try to answer this question. Do you really need a website these days to run your business? Now for me also it's going to be very interesting to find out what do you think? Do you need a website these days to run your business? Or maybe you think you don't need a website because some businesses they don't have a website. They're, they have a presence on Facebook or LinkedIn or Instagram and they don't have a website at all. But it will be inter really interesting to find out what do you think. So please leave your comments and yeah, let me know what you think. Now let's begin. So if you think about what is the purpose, like if, if you decided to, to make a website for your business uh, or you decide to do anything really, you have to think about what's going to be the reason why. Like why do you need a website? What's going to be the purpose of that website? So I've just listed a few things that you can think about and then we can just discuss it later in the comments. So first of all, your website needs to be there so you can get more potential clients to come and see what you do, right? So basically what it means is that you can get more people who are searching online for your service or products to come to your website, see what you do, contact you. So that's the, the main purpose, right? So you can have more business. But not just that, right? So another, another big thing that your website can help you with um, in terms of running your business is to educate your potential clients right so instead of talking to each one each one of them and explaining your benefits explaining uh, why they should work with you or, or any other thing really you can actually put it on your website in a written format in a video format so you can educate your people through like your potential clients through your website now another big reason in my opinion what the website can achieve for you is to build more trust between the potential client and yourself, right? Because if you think about when people are shopping around um, for anything, for products or for services, let's say, for example, you're competing for a client and you have a website versus the business who doesn't have a website. And on your website, they can see the videos, they can see reviews from your previous clients, they can see information about your business. Now, let's Thing, let's assume that the quote that you provided for the service that you do is the same with a business that doesn't have a website. Now, in my opinion, the chance of you winning this business if you have a website is higher just because the clients, the prospects will trust you more because you have this online presence where they, where they can see you, where they can check your reviews and, and you have more information about your company, right? So that's another big purpose, purpose big aim for the website to win more clients for you. And we can actually think about another item that we can put put in a purpose of having a website and that that item is saving yourself time so how do you save time when you have a website well you can put uh as i mentioned before you can educate your clients right through the website so you can have a certain pages on the website where you explain certain things to your clients you can also use the website to explain certain things to your employees right you, you can be a hidden part uh, from the public view, but hidden part of your website can be used to have certain documents where your employees can access them and see um, certain procedures, right? So you don't have to always um, have it in a in, in, in somewhere in a paper format. You can have it on a website instead of uh, giving the paperwork to somebody who works for you. So that's another big reason to have a website is just to save yourself some time. And you may think now, well, okay, why can't you have all these things that I've just mentioned, why can't you have it on your Facebook business page or somewhere else? And I will just explain you why the website is better. The website is better because when your client, when your potential client goes to your website, you will have their undivided attention or you will have more attention from them. Let's put it this way, because when they're on the website, they don't have the destruction of seeing some messages that are coming from their friends. They don't see uh, your competitors' ads. So you have their full attention. Now, if we agreed on the fact that maybe the website is a good idea, then the next question will be, well, how do you build a good website, right? And now you have to start with uh, answering this question first. What's going to be the main purpose of the website? So if your main purpose is to generate clients, you will have to basically state it. Okay, my main purpose is, is to generate clients. So what do I do? And in this case, your website has to be structured and designed in a certain way. Right. So all your services, all your products will ideally have a separate page, right? Because it will help your search engine optimization. It will help to market it at the later stages. Now, one important thing to realize that if you are competing for the clients, if you use your website to compete for the clients, so you're planning to advertise this website, etc., 
it's very important thing to remember that don't approach building the website from the money saving point of view so don't shop around for the website design company of the or whoever is going to build your website don't shop around based on just on the price that they give you just just based on the quotes that they give you ask them first what kind of experience they have promoting uh, or what kind of marketing experience they have with the products or services that you are selling so before somebody builds the website for you ask them first do they have any online marketing experience selling uh, the products or services or similar products or services that you provide because um, the design of the website these days like the flashy elements or the colors and buttons etc pictures um, it's not the main the main purpose of the of the website right sometimes you will see the website that's visually not that appeal appealing but it really converts really well and uh, for, for us for business owners the main thing is to not to entertain people who will come to our website right we're not there to entertain them we're there to sell to sell them our products and services and if that's our main goal the website has to be designed and structured to achieve this main goal for us so that's how you have to uh, think about it so when you're looking for the designer look when you're looking for the development or design company this is probably going to be your first question did you have any experience with actually marketing or the websites that you've built where you actually were marketing the products or services similar to to what you are trying to sell now in terms of pricing it's also a very well it's a tricky question how much money should you invest into a new website and you obviously have to shop around and ask multiple companies what they provide but like i said always ask them about the marketing experience about online marketing experience for the products or services that you provide but also the good rule of thumb is to think about the price based on what kind of a value it can bring to your business right so you can always think about it okay well how much money the new website can help me make in the next year so take a year as your time period and let's say for example you're planning to get uh, 500,000 or 1 million dollars uh, extra revenue from the website right so then you can say okay well how much profit it will be be it a 500,000 profit or less I don't know your business and then from that profit that you can think okay I will invest 10 to 30 percent of that expected profit into a new website right because you, like I said earlier you cannot approach building this um, product that building a website that will make you money you cannot approach it simply from the uh, how much it's gonna cost right because there are lots of companies out there that they will promise you the world for 100 bucks right but you have to be realistic right if you're entering the competitive area where other people are trying to compete for your business or compete for your clients you know you, you, you will not be able to achieve great super great super results with investing just a very very little amount of money does it make sense so if, if it's a competition it's always hard to beat other people who have more money so you you have to consider that fact and never never shop around for the for your website based on the price that you've been or based on the quotes that you uh, you've been given because like I said there are lots of people out there who who will take your money they will offer you the world for 100 bucks or even a thousand bucks but you will get what you paid for you will get just uh, some mediocre product that will not do pretty much anything for your business so um yeah let me know what you think in the comments below um maybe you agree with something maybe you disagree with something i really really want to learn what you think and um i will be posting more videos about what kind of things you should have on the website how to convert more visitors into clients in one of the video that i've done recently that video covers uh, one question and the question is what is one thing that you can add to your existing website that will dramatically increase your conversions conversions are uh, amount of people who are visiting your website and becoming your clients right so how can you increase this conversion rate watch this video I will leave a link in the comment section and also let me know what you think thank you for your time today this was Max uh, from online prospects and um, I will see you in the next video thank you